Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we just left off uh, laying down the foundation for what's going to be our forge. Uh, we just ran out of bricks, so I think what would be a good starter for this episode is to run down here and pick out a nice, good-looking cobblestone from our chest to be the rest of our forge wall. I'm thinking we'll want to have a, uh, a darker gray. Is that mudstone we used? No, it wasn't the mudstone. It was the shale or slate, one of the two. It had a bit of a brown tint to it. So I'm thinking something, uh, maybe a darker gray. Hmm, what do we have in here that we could use? How did that rhyolite look? Do we have any rhyolite in here? We do not. I bet that rhyolite would look great though. So let's take our pickaxes and start harvesting up a whole bunch of rhyolite from out here. Oh hey, a slime. What's up, buddy? Oh, a bigger slime. Wow. Oop. Didn't mean to hit him with my pickaxe. Oh, somebody just whoa. Somebody just kamikaze right behind me. Alright, let's pick up this rhyolite. Now one thing to note about our chisel is that we can use it directly on the stone. And it'll turn it into a nice, cool looking uh, tile. Let's pick that up. So there you can see we have a smooth rhyolite. And I think we might want to find a better maybe a, a red tinted stone to use for our floor and we'll use that smooth type of stone but for right now I want to grab some brick and we will use rhyolite for that I need to be careful I don't cause a cave-in on us while I'm just sitting here collecting stone Ooh, we still have quite a bit of cave we didn't explore might want to just light it up to be on the safe side. Ooh, passing creeper. Ooh, man, what is that purple stuff up there? I must know. Okay, what is this? It is hematite. Ooh, that's another type of iron ore. So that's pretty nifty. I uh, don't have a whole lot of that, but we do have two pieces at least, and that'll get us at least one ingot. So, alright, let's get back to collecting our cobble. And as soon as I get a, a whole bunch of this stuff, I'll come back with you guys and we'll start working on that, uh, that forge. Alrighty. Just picked up quite a few stacks of this stuff. Uh, looks like a little over three and a half stacks of rhyolite cobblestone. Oh man, that was a lot of digging. But I think that should be enough to get the walls up on our forge. So let's head back up here. Hopefully it's not nighttime right now. I did pick up some gems. I'm just going to leave them down here for later. Hopefully we can remember where they were. Anything we want to take up with us? Hmm. Let's take some basalt. Yeah, some basalt sounds good. Get a little bit more of this stuff. I have plans for this. Oh, broke another pickaxe. Not a problem. I had plenty of backups. Let's see, how many we got now? 34. Okay, that should be good for now. Let's head back upstairs. We might need to make another chisel in order to get all of these uh, cobblestone pieces turned into bricks. But that's okay. We have plenty of sphalerite right now. Uh, and then I, th I think that'll cover another chisel. Oh man, such a long hike. Yep, it's night time. Head back to the house. Through my grove of trees here. Sleep it off. And have a morning snack. 
Okay. Let's get out there. Whoa! Yeah, I heard. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, he didn't blow up our workshop. That's good. That's fine, that's fine. Not a huge deal. There. It's almost like it never happened. Sort of. Maybe cover it up with a little bit more dirt. That's fine. That's good. Whatever. I have a, I have a plan for this crater that he just made. So that's alright. No biggie. Let's get in here and let's start turning this into brick. Okay. Nice. Let's get our basalt turned into brick also. There we go. Now the reason I wanted basalt brick is because we're going to make a bloomery and we're going to put it back here. And our bloomery is going to be made out of basalt brick. I think that would look pretty cool. How about you guys? So let's go ahead and build this. Right like so. And I believe that should be it. We just need to make the bloomery piece to put right here. And over here we're going to have a ladder going up onto the top so we can refuel it. Nice. Alright, let's get these going. How's that look? Ooh, nice transition. I like that. Very nice. Let's get this built. Might want to dig up the edges here just so we can have that the same effect on the outside that we'll be getting on the inside. All right, it's looking good, guys. Probably make this a uh, four tall interior. So we're going to need a lot more brick than what I prepared. And we will definitely need another chisel. Yeah, this one's already almost gone. But I'm going to use up the rest of the bricks here. And in the meantime, we will probably want to start a campfire down in here. Hmm, what should we use for our campfire area? Well, it's going to be temporary, so let's just use some cobblestone. Okay, right there, that's good. Let's see. There we go. Got it going. Okay, let's pop uh, another piece of sphalerite in there, and that should melt just under the heat of the hickory that we put in. And with that, let's hop back up here, get back to work on the walls of our forge. There we go. Looking good. Very nice. Alright, one more layer and then we can start putting a roof on it. Excellent. I might cut this part out, I might not not sure how fond you guys are of building, but I hope you're fairly fond of it because I am. Let's start putting our roof on. Oop. Yeah, I see it. I'll get it in a second. Oh man, so hard to place. Why am I messing up so much? I don't normally mess up that much, I promise. Okay. 
we'll leave a hole right up here. Since we're going to be extending this bloomery upwards quite a bit, that's going to be the chimney for our forge here. Maybe get a few torches going in here. One right there. Either side of the doorway. One back there. That looks nice. Yeah, that looks really nice. Oh! Our spellerite melted. Get another one. And where is our anvil? We're going to want to put our anvil somewhere. Probably right back here. Um, let's put it on our smooth rhyolite. That'll look good. Right like that. There we go. Put our hammer back in there. Now we probably broke our last hammer. I didn't see it anywhere. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Looking good. Get one up there. And put some ladders in here. Okay. There we go. Any more bricks we got? Enough to put another layer on this, that's for sure. There we go. Okay. Now we don't want any monsters up here, so let's put a couple torches up here. And one back here. For good measure. Awesome. Actually, let's put these on the corners. A little wider spread torch light. Looking good. Alrighty, this one's almost ready. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Take it right over to our anvil. Wait for it. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay, put our chisel head plan in here. Nice. There's our chisel. Now we have another fresh zinc chisel head. Very, very nice. Excellent. Now we won't have any brick needs for quite a while. We do have plenty of these, uh, plenty of these bricks left over, don't we? Hmm. I might even want a window in here or something. Something to put on this wall. Maybe a painting. We can still make paintings, can't we? I think so. All right. But what I want to do is I want to go get some uh, clay stone. I think I decided on clay stone for the flooring in the forge. I think that'll look very nice. And we can find that right down here. And what we'll be doing, this is the clay stone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. So let's grab our chisel. And let's just start chiseling and then picking it up. Excellent. Might swap that with my shovel so I can reach it easier. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up a pretty good supply of this stuff and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, just picked up the last of our claystone here. Got 47 on me. I think that should be good enough to cover our floor and maybe a little bit of a front porch. And if it looks nice enough, we might even want to make paths uh, from our forge to our future houses or other places we decide to build using this. I mean, it is pretty close to a, uh, a type of brick, like a road brick. I think that might look pretty cool. Well, let's get up here, start digging out our floor and laying this down. Get some light out here. All right. Let's see here. I think you guys are really going to like this stuff. Let's go ahead and lay it down now. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Fancy. 
I really like that. I'll just leave that fire pit here for now. Or not. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh well. It didn't need to be there anyway. There we go. Okay. Get underneath of our doors. Nice. Okay. Put our doors back. Oop. There we go. Five, huh? Well, I might need to go downstairs and grab one more of these things. Yeah, just one more. Here we go. This won't take long. I'll just snag that one. Sounds good. Alright. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. I like it. It's looking just like a forge. Feels like a forge in here. Looks like a forge. It is perfect. About as perfect as a forge could feel. Except for one thing. We need an actual forge. A real forge. <laughs> we don't have one of those. Let's see, can we fit it right here? I think we can. We should be able to. It's alright. We had leftover brick anyway. Let's put it out here somewhere. Okay. That's fine. I'll just round off the back side of that. Okay. There we go. Now, what we need is we need to go grab our coal. I'm going to get things set up around here, guys, so we can finish off our forge. And I'll be right back with you to show you what we're going to be doing.
Alrighty guys, just got done collecting a whole bunch of wood from the jungle off in that direction. Uh, can't really tell, but there used to be a whole bunch of trees right there. A lot more than there are right now. And I transported them right to this spot. Every single log pile here is completely full with logs. And this is going to be our charcoal pit. This is how we're going to be making charcoal. We don't just toss a piece of wood in a furnace and expect to get charcoal out in this mod. That's not how things work. In this mod, and apparently in real life, according to the mod maker, uh, charcoal was made by smothering a massive bonfire. And that's what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be setting this giant pile of logs on fire and covering it up with the dirt, which is what I'm doing right now. And since this, these logs are going to burn pretty quickly, I want to get a majority of it covered up right now. That way I won't have to worry about running around with like a chicken with his head cut off as soon as I light this thing on fire. So here we go, we are almost ready. Right down here in the very bottom, I saved some space to start a fire. So let's go ahead and toss three sticks in, light it, and now let's take our logs and cover it up. Fill that up too. Oop, there we go. Okay. Now our, our dirt should start smoking. Oh, there it goes. And that means that all of the logs in there are now burning up. And it's going to take a little over a day, I believe. Last time I did this, it actually took uh, about three days. So through the magic of editing, it's going to be about two seconds for you guys. And I will bring you guys right back in as soon as this pile stops smoking and that tells us that our charcoal is done. Okay, it's still smoking. I just went to sleep. It has been a couple days now and uh, still going strong. I started on another charcoal pit since this process apparently takes a long time I don't want to be running low on charcoal hopefully we will get plenty of charcoal out of this pit though but I started a second one just to uh, keep myself occupied while I'm waiting for this one to finish and uh, I've been trimming trees I've been chopping down the rainforest that's a big job I've been tending to the cows and the farm and whole bunch of good stuff but I just wanted to let you guys know you didn't miss anything boring and oh my gosh it's not smoking anymore should we crack into it and see if uh, see if it's good ooh yeah it's empty in here guys check that out all of our charcoal should be in this little fire pit here alright not bad, not bad. That's about two stacks worth. That's all right, and we can easily reuse this uh, this fire pit now. Very easily reuse it. But I don't think we'll need this one uh, running anytime soon. But now that we have our charcoal, let's pop back in here. You can see I set up a chest up here and put a few things in it. Got a whole bunch of sticks from working on the trees. Uh, let's grab our rhyolite blocks here. And we're going to make our bloomery. In order to make that, we needed the charcoal. You take eight bricks and surround one piece of charcoal, and you get your bloomery. And the bloomery goes right here in this empty hole that we left. Boom! You can see the interface for it looks kind of similar to the fire pit. We have a temperature gauge on the left hand side here. But up top you can see a type. And when you start throwing ore into the bloomery, this is where it's going to tell you what type of ore it's currently smelting. You can't have more than one type of ore in the bloomery at a time. So just keep that in mind. 
over here, you can see it tells you just how much ore and coal is in the bloomery. Now this is a little misleading. You can't actually throw coal into the bloomery. It must be charcoal, not coal. Coal does not go in the bloomery. The coal will go in a forge. And the forge is what we set up over here. Well, we do have the coal from our mine back over there. And we can use that in just a little bit. So to kickstart this bloomery, let's grab a whole bunch of our sphalerite and hop up top of our bloomery here. Now you want to keep about a one-to-one -one fuel to uh, ore ratio. So let's go ahead and toss one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's all of that. Now let's hop down here, and you can see our bloomery is now lit up, telling us that it's working on our ore. Our sphalerite ore is in there right now. Uh, the temperature gauge is just now getting started, so it's still at the bottom a bit. Now what we can actually do is take our bellows out of here and hook it up to our bloomery. Let's do that right now. Chop this off, and you can see there's a hole in the side for the bloomery, or for the bellows here. Aim it at the bloomery. Give it a few pumps. Okay, it might need a little bit more fuel. It looks like our ore is overtaking the charcoal there a bit. Throw a couple pieces in. Don't want to throw in too much. There we go. Now we can see the temperature picking up. It looks like you want your fuel to be uh, more than what you have in ore. Now we won't be able to get our ore out of the bloomery until uh, we have something to put it in. And you can see our ore just now shot down to zero kilograms. That means all of our ore has been smelted and it's ready to be picked up. But we don't have anything to pick it up in right now. We need to craft something to get the melted metal out of our bloomery. Now if you remember back in episode one I believe I found some strange looking dirt. Uh, that's actually clay I come to find out and we have a huge amount of clay over here. In fact this little island right here is pretty much all clay which is awesome. So I'm gonna start getting quite a bit of clay and we're going to make something out of clay to hold our melted metal. Actually, where's my shovel? I should be using a shovel on this. Oh, there we go. Much better. Okay, we're going to collect a whole bunch of this, and I'll meet you guys back at the forge. Now, I'm just stopping down in our coal and sphalerite mine down here. Uh, I'm going to pick up some coal so we have something to work with in the forge. Here we are. Here's a nice little vein. I'm going to pick this up, as well as... me maybe some more sphalerite and I'll meet you guys back upstairs. Okay, back at the forge. Looks like our bloomery is still going. Okay, that's good. Now to craft what we need to get that metal out. It's going to look something like a boat made out of clay and that's going to give us a whole bunch of clay molds. I have a ton of clay here, so let's go ahead and make a whole ton of clay molds. Alright. Alright, I think that should do us for right now. And, and to get these going much faster, I did grab a whole bunch of coal out of our mine down there. Just throw nine pieces of coal into the pit here. There we go. Light it. And now we have ourselves a forge. Hey, how come I can't open the forge right now? What happened? Oh, I know why. It needs open access to the sky. This is very important. Okay. Will that work? That will work. Okay. Very, very important. Got to keep that in mind. The forge needs to breathe. 
kind of forgot about that. Okay. Now then, let's take our coal. Let's go ahead and fill it up. And let's get our clay molds going in here. Now those should start uh, cooking up pretty quickly. And the forge is pretty good for uh, remelting metals that you have already smelted down. It's also good for uh, heating back up ingots in order to work on our anvil here. We might need to keep this a little bit hot while our clay molds cook. Hopefully they won't take very long. Come on, clay mold. I've never cooked a clay mold before, so I don't know how long I'm going to be waiting here. I do need to make sure that our fuel stays consistent so they don't... Uh, oh, there they go. All of them. There we go. Let's get a whole bunch more going. Come right over here and put our, our ceramic mold... Now it's a ceramic mold. Put that in here. And we should... Uh-oh. We don't have anything in there right now. Well, that's not good. Why not? Well, let's leave one in there, and let's go back up here and give it... Feed it a little bit more sphalerite, shall we? Okay, there's six. Okay. Now it looks like it's cooling down a bit. We want to keep that fuel above the amount of ore. I hear some zombies out here. Not good. Okay. Here we go. Let's pump our bellows a bit. Get that going. Now as soon as this phalarite is ready, the ceramic mold should fill up with that phalarite. How's our... alright. Got more molds over here. Let's go ahead and cook some more. Keep that going. We want a good stockpile of ceramic molds. That's right. The phalarite should not take very long to smelt down. Come on, bellows. Go, go, go. I want my sphalerite. You don't want to uh, go overboard with the bellows. It does make your fuel burn faster. Ah, here we are. Unshaped zinc. Very hot. Um, how come we only got half of one? Oh, there we go. We got a full one that time. And that time. There we go. We got all of it. We should be able to combine these two. Yep, there we go. So we got three full uh, pieces. Two of them should be ready to work fairly soon. As soon as it's uh, as soon as it's cooled off, let's go ahead and toss a couple more sphalerite right in here. There we go. Excellent. Pump that a little bit. Okay. There we go. Got a nice zinc ingot. There we go, got another one. Very nice. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and store these in here for now. You might want to uh, do something with them. What I would like to do is weld them, but I'm not entirely sure how to weld things right now. Got some more ceramic molds ready. Get more of those going. All right. Ooh. Now one thing we can do. Let's uh, let's take that out. Oops, that's still hot. Put this in here, and we'll let this heat up so that we can rework it on our anvil. Now, while we can heat things up in our forge, we could not use our forge to smelt ore. It just wouldn't work. They don't start heating up. You're not allowed to do that. And the reason that the mod maker gave is that you can't use coal to smelt ore. Um, 
If you do that, the impurities in the coal will cause your uh, your smelted ore to become brittle, and the metal is just too frail to be usable. So that is why we can't use them in the forge. Get more of those going. And this looks like it should be about ready to use. I'm going to go ahead and let that... Uh, Actually, we'll just take that out, see if it's ready. There we go. Got another one. Nice. Put those in here. Right next to our copper ingot that we've been holding on to for quite a while. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Got our last bit of sphalerite out of there. Bright red liquid. Let's leave that in there for a second. That is very hot for zinc. That's going to take a little bit for it to cool back down to a workable state. That's okay. We need a little bit of time so that we can work in here. Now what I want to do, and we can sleep through the night to get rid of this rain as well, I want to grab our scribing table out of our cave and take it back to the forge so that we can use it in there. Also move a few of our supplies from here over to the forge. Let's get some of our paper, our sugar canes, uh, our ink sacks, our markings definitely. What else do we need? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we could... No, we can leave that there. We will want our ore, though, and the slag, just to keep it all in one place. All right, that seems good enough. Let's grab our scribing table. All right. Head back to our forge. Here we go. Okay, let's plop this down somewhere over here, maybe. Right there sounds good. Now let's make a new, a new plan to use. I think it goes something like this. Yeah, there we are, a hammer head. Excellent. Now we can turn our zinc into a hammer head. Oops. Uh, well, that's still cooling off. Let's just take that out. Might want to heat our zinc back up just a little bit. Oops. What happened there? They all started stacking inside of the forge. That was weird. Let's get those going as well. Store some of our stuff in here. Get our magnetite and our native copper that we found. And our ink sacks and our markings. Okay. Get that out before it melts down. We do not want it to melt in there. Okay. There we go. We got a zinc hammer head now. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put a stick underneath of that ourselves our zinc hammer. This one is going to last much longer than our stone hammer has and I'm hoping it will also allow us to work on our copper ingot. And our copper, speaking of which, we might want to put that into our bloomery and start working on that. Let's see, is this our, yep, that's our charcoal. Now, an important note, you want to throw your items into the bloomery uh, using the throw button. For By default, it's the Q button, I believe, or the Q key. If you throw it all in one stack by picking it up and throwing it, it's only going to count it as one, and that's not something you want to have happen. There we go. Fill it all the way up. Okay, let's see how that's going to go. Excellent. Hit our bellows a few times, get that going real hot. Keep this full with fuel. 
And I hate to say it, guys, but I think right about now is a good wrapping up point. Uh, we did get a lot done today. We got our charcoal. We got our forge in full operation now. Uh, we did get a new tool made. We got our zinc hammer an upgrade, and hopefully that will allow us to delve much deeper into the field of metallurgy. But uh, I'll have to see you guys next time in the next episode. Uh, hopefully we'll be working more on our forge here, but I would also like to start getting us a permanent house set up. Uh, but that'll be in uh, the next episode, so I'll see you all later.